Hi, I'm Charlotte Lawson, a registered and licensed dietitian here in Tampa Bay, Florida. You might be looking for some tips in your diet to help you avoid osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a weakening or um, kind of a dissolving of the bones, if you will. Now our bones are made up of minerals, like cal calcium and phosphorus. And really where we intake our calcium is what helps us to keep our bones strong. So in our diet, main source of calcium is actually our dairy for our dairy group. This can be your milk, your cheeses, um, and other dairy products. Now say for instance you're lactose intolerant. Well fortunately, plenty of products out there are actually fortified with calcium as well. For instance, I'm sure you've probably seen some orange juice with added calcium. Calcium and vitamin C, which is abundantly found in our citrus fruits, actually work very, very well together and help increase the absorption of both of these nutrients. So calcium with vitamin C, or excuse me, orange juice with extra calcium is an excellent option to ha help with that added calcium as well. Now another thing, consider vitamin D. Vitamin D and calcium also work very, very well together. You can find vitamin D added or fortified in a lot of different products as well. But also, if you live in a sunny state or enjoy being outside, a good 10 minutes of mostly full exposure, meaning most of your arms, your face, and your neck, can give you about 10,000 international units of vitamin D, which is plenty for your day's worth. So keep in mind, calcium comes from a variety of things. And don't forget our vegetables as well. Broccoli is an excellent source of calcium. But look for vegetables, your dairy products, or your fortified products. You typically want to stay around 1,000 to 1,200 milligrams per day. And depending on where you're at in your age, you might need a little bit more. Especially women. As we go through postmenopausal phases, we're going to need to increase our calcium even more to avoid that osteoporosis. And also be mindful if you have an adolescent in the house. During those growing phases, we also need more calcium. So there's just a couple ways you can find calcium in your diet. Also keep in mind an important diet and regular exercise are excellent ways to keep those bones strong. I'm Charlotte and eat happy.